Thank you for joining me for this chart, which I find to be very interesting. Now, this is a chart of what could be one of the ideal technical indicators. Technical indicator is, of course, based on the market action. Ideally, it shouldn't give too many signals. The signals it does give should be accurate. And as always, it needs to be logical. There has to be an underlying logic to anything we see in the markets or we should ignore it. This indicator right now is bearish. And here's a chart of its previous signals. And what I've done is I've drawn two lines on the chart. The middle line is the price action. The two lines above and below the price action are lines that are drawn 10% above and below the 200-day moving average. As you can see, when we break out of a bear market, we come out of a bear market with a great deal of strength. Those are the first three signals in the chart there. We have severe pullbacks, we have bear markets, and then stocks rally explosively out of it. So the signal after a bear market tells us that we are at the beginning of a new bull market. Unfortunately, when we're not in a bear market, when we're in a strong bull market, these signals tend to come near pullbacks. And the three most recent signals are shown on the chart. We saw a 3% pullback in uh, the beginning of 2017 when this happened. And we saw 15% and a 7% pullback before then. So these are significant signals to watch. Now, it meets those criteria for an ideal indicator. It's based on the market action, so it adapts to what's happening in the market shouldn't give too many signals. We can't act on a signal every day. So this one gave six signals in the past 15 years. Each was noteworthy. They should be accurate. Three at the end of bear markets, in fact, did indicate acceleration. The other three signaled the end of significant up moves. The signals should also be logical. This indicator basically shows the natural speed limit in the market. Imagine you're on a highway, you're driving at a high rate of speed. Eventually, you're not paying attention, you get a little bit too fast. One of two things has to happen. You either have to become hyper-focused and maintain that speed, or you need to slow down. Of course, an accident could also happen. What we see here is that when the, we're coming out of a bear market, this indicator tells us the market's going fast, but drivers are hyper-focused and we're going to be fine. When we aren't coming out of a bear market, when we're in a bull market, this indicator tells us we're going too fast, it's time to hit the brakes. That's where we are in the market. It's time to hit the brakes. It's not the end of the bull market. We have significant upside ahead of us this year. This is simply a signal that prices are accelerating rapidly and there should be a pullback. A failed signal would indicate that we are in the irrational exuberant stage of the bull market and we should jump on board quickly because that would be the opportunity to make very quick, very large gains before the inevitable bear market comes. So this signal is telling us pullback or acceleration. We need to be watching in the coming days for which it is. If it's a pullback, if it's a buying opportunity, if it's not a pullback, it's really time to load up on stocks and be prepared for rapid gains and then an equally rapid sell-off. Thank you for joining me.